Good morning to morning. you. Thanks for coming in. So Richard Scudamore's apologised. They said that there's not going to be any disciplinary action, but do you think there should have been? Well, I think it's very surprising that no action at all has been taken by the Premier League. And I think it's very important to state very clearly that the comments that he made are disrespectful um, and unacceptable from somebody in such a senior position. But I think what's important now is that we look to the future and we make sure that what's happened with Richard Scudamore and with the email exchange is that, you know, it doesn't deter women and girls that want to play football from taking part in the game. The Prime Minister said he wouldn't tolerate sexism in his cabinet. Do you think he should have been sacked? Well, it's good to know that the Prime Minister won't tolerate sexism. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's a matter for the Premier League to decide what action they take. I would have thought that there is some sanction. I would have thought that they would want to send a strong message to women and girls that the Premier League is a place for them. But, you know, whether or not they take action, what's important now is we know that there are 80,000 young women and girls out there who say that above all of the sports, football is the one that they'd love to have a go at. They want to play more football. So we need to make sure that those women and girls are encouraged to play. And we need to make sure that football and, in fact, all of sports is seen as a really positive career choice for women and girls. And the difficulty is by not taking any action though, what message does it send out to women? I mean, we know we've got the FA with their meeting today. Are you keen that something is done to show that there's disapproval of this? I am keen that something is done. And my understanding is that Richard Scudamore in his statement said that he would like to meet with stakeholders um, in order to hear their views. Well, at the Women's Sport and Fitness Foundation, we have 30 years of experience working with sports organisations. So I'm extending an invitation to him and the Premier League, come and talk to us. We can help you. We can undertake with you a root and branch review of the organisation. And we can help to make sure that this doesn't put women and girls off playing football or indeed getting involved in sport in any way. If he had said racist remarks, I, I would suggest he would have lost his job or would have resigned before that story had even come out. Does that give you some indication of where the battle against racism has got to and the battle against sexism has got to? Yeah, and I, th I mean, I think it is really important that we are very clear that sexism will not be tolerated in sport. And there are so many positive things being done for women and girls. Um, you know, we work with the FA, we're funded by Sport England, to make a difference, to transform sport for the benefit of women and girls. It's very important that we're clear sexism is not acceptable and that we build on the positive things that we've done. So again, I would invite the Premier League to get in touch with me at the Women's Sport and Fitness Foundation. I'll be writing to them today anyway. Let's work together and let's transform that organisation and let's make sure that we don't put off those 80,000 women that tell us they would like to play more football. Ruth, thanks very much for that. That's Ruth Holderay there, Chief Executive of Women's Sport and Fitness Foundation. Thank you. Thank you.